Southeastern Industrial Linings presents Rehabbing a Cooling Tower with Polyurea. This cooling tower was located on a two-story building and it had suffered years of total neglect. This tower had major rusting in the cold water pan, behind the fill, and in the hot water distribution panels. As you can see here, the rusting was quite severe in the cold water pan. These are shots of the hot water distribution panel. As you can see, the baffles are severely degraded. In this shot, you can see that most of the distribution baffle is missing. This shot shows the extreme calcification of the fill. As you can see, many of the cells are 100% restricted. This is a shot of the bottom of the hot water distribution panel. These are areas behind the fill and the cold water basin. Here we are grit blasting the tower to remove the buildup and rust in preparation of the lining system. The grit blasting is complete. As you can see, it has exposed many areas where the rust is eaten completely through the shell of the cooling tower. These areas will be repaired using a combination of geotextile and polyurea. The two together create an incredibly strong membrane. We use a very coarse grit blasting compound. Typically we use coal slag. It creates a three to five mil profile on the metal which creates a very strong bond between the polyurea and the metal panels. These are shots of the hot water distribution panels after grit blasting. As you can see, the walls are literally gone again. This will be repaired using a geotextile and polyurea. The polyurea is applied at 3000 PSI and about 165 degrees. The product turns solid in about 10 seconds. It is used in projects that call for 75 and 100 year lifespans. In most cooling tower applications, the lining will outlast the cooling tower. The polyurea is applied to a target thickness of about 60 mils. It has an elongation factor of about 300 percent. It will never get hard and it will never crack. In most applications the polyurea is going to outlast the tower. Here we are applying geotextile to the bolt holes that will no longer be used and to any areas that have rusted through. The polyurea is then applied onto the geotextile, which does make a very, very durable membrane.
this panel on the cooling tower has already been sealed on the other side from below where the fill was located and on the top side in the hot water basin. We're applying the geotextile simply to protect the panel and to keep any further water intrusion out of the panel. Areas can be structurally reinforced by taking angle iron or sheet metal and using the polyurea to embed these reinforcements onto the cooling tower. Since the polyurea has about a 10 second gel time, Teflon paddles can be used to manipulate and to shape the polyurea when it's first sprayed. This is useful if you need to bridge a gap or to fill in a hole in the cooling tower. In order to repair the hot water distribution basins, we cut access holes in the top of the cooling towers. Here we are installing replacement covers for these access holes. We're simply spraying them in using the polyurea. This creates a waterproof, very durable seal for these panels. Here's a look at a finished hot water distribution panel. Here's a look at the wall in the distribution panel that earlier in this video was mostly gone after the sandblasting due to completely rusting through. Here we are installing new baffles in the hot water distribution pans. These baffles have been lined with polyurea, so they should give many, many years of good service. Here are some final shots of the finished project. Give Southeastern Industrial Linings a call for any of your cooling tower rehab needs or any other industrial lining project that you may have. Call us at 404-626-4771. And thanks for watching our video.